Previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. His Highness doesn't blame you. Neither does King Lambert. I'm sure of it. Actually, I do. I blame the fuck out of your dad. Oh, <laughs> to me, she's standing over there too. By the way, get out of here. I'm in the middle of talking to my dad. Now, now onwards, onwards class. class. To, to war! war! <laughs> See you in the eternal flames. Damn it, Ranger! Get out of here. Hello, Sneako B. Back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, we learned that Catherine does, in fact, want to live and says, fuck that bitch, you going to die in that area. I don't give a fuck. You think I'm going to die for you? I will kill people for you, all right? But I ain't going to die for you. <laughs> Which really caught me off guard. But you guys were explaining it, and <laughs> I find the reasoning that you guys provided hilarious, but also very Catherine. And I think the someone who put it the best was Theo Aramavano, who last episode said, it occurs to me that maybe the reason Catherine would kill but not die for Rhea is because Rhea is working so hard to save her life is what made Catherine dedicate her life to her in the first place. She wants to dedicate her life to Rhea, not her death. Dying wouldn't completely contradict her goal in that sense, because you can do so much for someone if you're alive. You can't do anything for them if you're dead. If Rhea asked her to die for her, she would be asking Catherine to throw away what Rhea gave her in the first place. And I find that logic fucking hilarious, but also very, very Catherine. And you know what? I bet you're right. And I was like, what good is dying for you? If me's a fucking dead, then I can't, I can't protect you anymore. Oh my God. So Catherine, does that mean if like a meteor's gonna come down and fucking kill her lady Rhea? She's like gonna be like, peace out, bitch. See ya. <laughs> no, she's gonna go over there and fight that meteor and somehow survive. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just find it sort of hilarious and a little backwards, but like in the same way, like just with how stubborn and hard-headed Catherine is, like it still kind of makes sense to her character that she would be like that. Like that would be her goofy reasoning. Um, and I kind of wish he actually said that just so I could laugh at it because it's just so fucking ridiculous. I mean, I get it. I do get it. Like, okay, Rhea gave her this life by by saving her. I can't throw it away. But it's also just, but if I, if I die for you, how can I protect you? I don't know. Just still some sort of, sort of goofy about it. Uh, but uh, Theo, thank you so much for your enlightening comment. And honestly, I, I think you're probably right. I think it likely is a reasoning. Um, and it's for that reason you are comment of the day. But see, like I said, it's like, it's goofy as fuck, but also it still makes sense with her character. Like I'm not, that's definitely not a critique against her, her writing or the, the story or that explanation, uh, because it, it fits with her so well. Um, I just find that explanation hilarious. <laughs> I just find it fucking funny. And probably also explains why Zenith is so fucking exasperated by her. He's like, Jesus Christ, girl. What? I'm fine! No, you're not fine. And people say we don't need a therapist here. I am your therapist. You basically are, Sedeth. You basically are. By the way, you guys also point out, so yes, Alois actually does learn magic, though, and not a lot of magic, like maybe two spells for, re like two for, for reason, and like two for faith. Uh, and like, I think after like a B or B plus, he doesn't learn any more spells for like the, the rest of leveling up, so... Uh, pretty much pointless. Probably don't want to make Alois your mage. But also, similarly, uh, other characters that don't have crests, uh, yes, they, they can wield magic. So it's it's not quite what Hanman like, said there, but maybe he didn't mean it that way. Some of you thought maybe he meant it more like it's just easier for those with crests to be able to wield magic. So may maybe so. Maybe he just... I don't know. Just sounded kind of weird when he when he explained it there. Maybe it just didn't come across right, or the, the translation wasn't the best, or something. I'm not sure. Oh yes, you guys also clarify the whole thing with Leonardo and Catherine. I was like, so wh why would that be a problem with little Leonardo? Oh, a fucking course. And I don't know why I, I forgot this. Catherine was the reason Lord Leonardo's son died because Catherine turned him in. So obviously, Lord Leonardo wouldn't want her to come back uh, into the good graces of the royal family. Of course, of course. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot that. I think there's just, there's so much lore in this game. There's so many plot points and uh, character motivations and elements and things to take into consideration that it does become a bit overwhelming at times. And I sometimes just kind of forget what the fuck's going on <laughs> with some people. Um, and that again, is not a gripe against the story. Like I said, it's so intric intricately woven together. Um, and like, it's, it's like a really good book, you know, like, when you reach certain levels of detail, you know, where they're, they're going over plot points and characters, motivations and ideas and thoughts to such extreme detail 
that it doesn't feel like you're playing through just like a regular game. It really feels like you're reading a good book, you know? And I'm not really a much of a, re a book reader, honestly. I, like that's, I usually get most of my good stories from games, you know? Um, but it's kind of how I felt about when I was playing through the, the Witcher game, Witcher 3, where I was like, this just feels like a, like, like this was a book, which it was at one point. Um, and that's kind of how I feel a lot of ways about this game. It's just such a, such a fucking cool level of detail. And I just, I love it, man. This is great. It just shows that a lot of thought and effort went into crafting this story, you know? And I, th I think that's that, uh, what I mean, you know? And I'm not saying that other RPGs aren't that way. This one just feels like thought out to the point that like literally every character here feels me feels meaningful, you know? to some big plot or important character moment, right? Whether it's personal or involves the main plot or whatever. And that's just great. <laughs> okay, this is, consider this an added an, an addendum to the, the comment of the day, all right? This is just, I was just looking through the comments trying to make sure I, I didn't miss anything that you guys told me about. And I just saw one that I didn't see earlier that really made me laugh. <laughs> And it was from Wind Wilder, who was it basically, I just saw it just is a beautiful conversation between penguins. And this is one of the reasons I love you guys so much is when you do this shit, it's like tea time in a nutshell, ha having tea with post time skip Dimitri, <laughs> Dimitri, let's murder animal guard. Option one, sigh. Option two, disagree. Option three, laughs. Then Jetty027 replies, uh, is it laughs? What, what, what is it? Ha ha, your right laugh or a ha ha, your stupid laugh? You definitely not disagree, I think. It's, it's size. Eh. Fuck it. Let's go with my gut and pick laugh. Hopefully it's the right one. Then somebody else totally different. City XV responds, am I a joke to you, professor? To the fire depths with you. And then Jetty replies, oh, God damn it. I knew I should have said it with Psy. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys crack me the fuck up, you know that? This is just so good. <laughs> it's like perfectly reflects how I feel about these fucking tea times. The final one. And it <laughs> uh, I love you guys so much. I hope you know that. <laughs> I love you guys so much. This shit, I'm, 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 I'm going to get everyone in this little conversation hearts. You guys, you guys are great. That wasn't it. May not picked you as the comment of the day, but you sure as fuck need to be mentioned because that shit was hilarious, man. All, all of you, all the penguins in that conversation. I, I guess also said that apparently I should check out the, uh, when I get a, a chance, go to the library and check out uh, a, the book named Register of Empire Noble Part 2. Let me check the last page. Actually, you know what? Let's go do that right now. I'm going to open an old save. I'm going to do that while I still remember because I'm, I know I'm going to fucking forget. Okay, I should look for the Register of Empire Nobles Part 2. Uh, not that. Not you. Okay, here we go. And the last page. House Bartels. A house of Imperial Barons, highly ambitious, is sought out and acquired several crests for its bloodline. In 1176, many members, including the head of the house, died under unexplained circumstances. The deed was attributed to the heir, Emil. As his whereabouts are unknown, leader of the house fell to a distant rel- Oh. Ooh. This is Mercedes. Brother. D was attributed to their heir, Emil. As his whereabouts are unknown, leader of the, sh the leadership of the house fell to a distant relative. Hmm. Interesting. Emil would have killed them off, but... Why? For what purpose? And then left a distant relative. Which was, I think, Mercedes' uncle, right? Huh. That's, uh, interesting. That is interesting. I still don't have quite enough information to make a informed opinion about what that means. Other than, uh, that just that be crazy, bitch. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not talk. I'm telling you why. Death Knight's coming to slay us all. Ah, man, whatever. All right, I've killed him like 30 times. He should be dead by now. Um, anyway, we got we got ourselves a whole boatload of freaking uh, supports, including one with uh, Sylvain and Felix, which actually have two parts. So, huh? Let's see where this uh, this takes us. Sylvain, eat these. <laughs> eat this. What are these, Felix? Oh, hey, is this candy? Yeah, I make candy for you. It's not like I like you or anything, Baka. A girl in town gave them to me, but I don't want them. Right. You don't like sweet stuff. Thanks. I'll eat them later. So, what do you need? Want me to help you get closer to a girl? Just point her out. You're incorrigible. No, I wanted to thank you for your help in battle. 
If you hadn't spotted that enemy ambush, well, I would have been killed. Nah, I didn't do anything special. Friends help each other out, especially on the battlefield. Just a little give and take, you know? You never change. Nope. I try to stay on an even keel. You're always... Always what? <sighs> Nothing. Come on. If you've got something on your mind, then say it. Maybe I'll tell you later, maybe I won't. Fair enough. I'll be having something to eat while you're deciding... whatever it is you're deciding. Actually, come with me. My treat. If you do want to talk, then I'm right there. Okay, just this once. Only because you saved my life. Free food, possible conversation, and when we're done, we can find some girls. No, I think I might be gay and I'm gay for you. It was a joke! Felix, I was joking. Come on, let's just go eat. Ooh, that was actually a... I mean, okay, yeah. No, you can say it's just just, just a bro thing. Just a, just a guy thing, you know, hanging out. But Felix did bring him candy. <laughs> he did, like, actually bring him candy. This girl gave it to me. I don't like it. Here, have, have some freaking candy, loser. Hmm. I don't know. This is a second part to this. How gay is this going to go? <laughs> How deep is this going to go? I want to see. I mean, I really kind of ship Sylvain and Ingrid, though, because, like, Ingrid makes... Every, oh my god, they still got a second part to that, too. Um, Ingrid's there to make Sylvain a better human being, although not that Felix... I mean, I don't know. Sylvain and Felix both have, are kind of fucked up. I don't know. Maybe they can fix each other, but or maybe they'll just fuck each other up even more. You don't... I, I don't know. Oh, hey, Ash and Annette. They, oh god, they were kind of adorable too. Although I think the whole thing with I think Felix and Annette is kind of adorable too. So, but let's see it. Oh, how unlucky that we were assigned to clean this ancient tower. <laughs> Where the fuck are we? In the empty void of space? Well, it's not a pleasant job, but someone has to do it. Nah, they didn't bother making the pack around for this one. With all the windows boarded up, it's so dark, and there are strange noises, like that noise. What was that? A rat. Tell me it was a rat. Then Remy from Ratatouille shows up. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Ah! Better than a ghost. You're not scared of ghosts, are you, Ash? I didn't think you'd be. You haven't seen what I've seen. <laughs> you have seen Marianne's dead, lifeless eyes in the pre-time skip. You didn't have any supports with her. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, no. What was that noise? It, it, it's okay. It's just the wind blowing the door shut. Oh no, the latch is rusted. It won't budge. What? You mean we're trapped in here? <laughs> I'm on the outside holding the door shut like, ah, oh shit. Someone's gonna make out in this game. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't think to prop the door open. Hey, you guys done making out yet? Don't worry about that now. We need to think of a way out of here. Can you guys hear me? Hey. Well, what if we were to pry the boards off the windows? Yes, that. We can do it in no time. Oh, uh, there's something on my face. Ah, oh, it's my boobs. Ah! Oh, there we go. That sounds like progress to me. Calm down, Ash. It's a cobweb. Just a cobweb. We've got to pull ourselves together. Now, which of the windows should we check? Uh, I can't stand it here in the pitch dark. Oh, I've got one here. Stand back. <laughs> oh, we made it. I wouldn't want to go through that again. For a moment there, I didn't think we'd make it out alive. There's a ghost just hanging out by... He's got his arm wrapped around his ash. He's like, yeah, me too. I didn't think we were going to get out of there alive. Oh, thank God you, me, and this demon lord all made it out alive. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a demon lord. I mean, uh... No, oh, wait. I lost it. It's gone. What is it? The doll my father gave me. Oh, I must have dropped it. <gasps> what the fuck? Are you shitting me? Fuck this game! <laughs> this is unfucking believable! What? God damn! How many of. This is fucking absurd! This game gets sucked by balls! This is fucking bullshit! I can only imagine the coders were like, like, hey, hey, guys, hey, we have like about 30 million different combinations of shit happening um, from other things, depending on what order you go in. Um, yeah, so you might just code that shit in there. It's going to probably take you at least fucking eight years. Eat my ass, 
Nintendo executive. All right, cool. I'm going to give you a week. See you later. Pit best of luck, short stuff. Fuck, man. The doll I got from Gilbert from his fucking support, and then she drops it in this thing. What the fuck? Are they going to go back in and get it? In the tower? Are you going back for it? No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I've been meaning to throw it out for a while. <laughs> okay, if they actually went in and went like, like that changed the support entirely and they had to go back in, I would like, my, my, my brain would have exploded. But I mean, still, still fucking clever and smart. And they, they put, <laughs> I mean to throw it out, but she, <laughs> but she did it. Then she didn't throw it out. Like, and she doesn't lose it. Oh my God, fuck this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, this so, why, why is this good? So why is this so good? Aside from the fact that, okay, obviously a shit ton of extra work went into it, right? But she didn't throw it out. So now it adds to the character that she couldn't bring herself to throw it away, right? This whole time she had the doll with her. And the fact that that shit carried over from the fucking Gilbert thing, it wasn't just like a one-off that nobody's gonna talk about anymore. No, it affects this one. So now we see, oh, she kept it. and. Now that she's lost it in the dark room, she's like, am I willing to go back and get this? This thing that my dad made for me, but he's also done, made a million of them for me. And it's kind of an empty gesture by this point, but I still wouldn't, didn't want to throw it away willingly. No, fuck it. <laughs> it's not worth it. I got an excuse to do it. That's good enough. And it just, it plays into more in their relationship and her character. And I'm sorry. I feel like I'm a broken record. I want myself to shut up by this point. Shut the fuck up, Nico. You stupid asshole. Are you sure? If it was a gift from your father... And it's still going, and I love it! Yes, but it can't be helped. Let's just get back to the monastery. Uh, right. Wow! They actually added a lot to that one. Holy fuck, I'm so glad I went in that order! <laughs> I'm glad I didn't see that until I did the Gilbert one! Right? Right? That had to be. That had to be. That fucking had to be. I don't think that was like some off-screen doll that we didn't see. No, we saw him give her a doll. Would that just have just ended then? Been like, oh, thank God, we, thank God we got out of there. Isn't that right, Scooby? That's right, ass. No, and it, it, if that's the case, God, that means she's so much better. Unless they would have said something totally different, and it would have had a, I don't know, a different ending. But fuck, man, this game is fucking ridiculous. These like supports are the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> they are. They're the best thing I've ever seen in any game ever. It's like the, some of the coolest characterization. All right, be right with Seth. I'm gonna stop talking. Book of fables you let me set it. Oh my God, he said the thing. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm basically memeing myself. I'm making my fun of myself right now. Like, sir, this Everyone in the comments like, busily breeze. And then I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Trust me, this shit is not lost on me, all right? Trust me, it's not lost on me. But I feel like I'd be, I would also be remiss not to point out how fucking well done it is. I definitely would consider myself some like unbelievable writer or some stupid shit like this, but it's, but someone who can appreciate really good storytelling. I just, I see this and I just, and the effort that was clearly put into it. And it just impresses me to no end. And every time they do it, it just, it just gets me and it's, Fuck, why this game is just, ugh, just... Just the bee's knees, man. It was so interesting to learn all about St. Indec that I read it cover to cover in one sitting. Okay, this is actually going to get more interesting with this now that we know, oh, Sedith is... He knew him personally, right? And this is, of course, what the crest... Her crest is based off of. And it does make you wonder how much, like, a crest influences one's personality, right? Because it does seem like that Bernie is a lot like this St. Indec. Impressive. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hmm. What's this sticking out between the pages? Is this an illustration? <gasps> no, nothing like that. I must have stuck it in there and forgotten. Just um, give it back, please. <laughs> I love it. Look at Bernie's eyes on her actual model here. Just like how big they are. <laughs> like, <laughs> like little deer in the headlights. Are you certain this was accidental? It quite fits the descriptions in this chapter. Ah, I see. You included an illustration where you thought the visual would be helpful. No, 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 not at all. I was just fooling around. I have an overactive imagination, and I forgot to take it out before I gave you the book back. It really is a lovely drawing, you know. Now that I've seen it, the book would feel incomplete without it. Ah, oh, what the fuck? This is a nice guy. <laughs> fuck you, said it. But who is this man next to Saint Indec? 
I can't help but notice he bears a resemblance to me. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> then he immediately grabs Bernie's like, who the fuck told you, huh? Who told you, bitch? Who told you that I knew him? Oh, um, that same keyhole. The book describes him as one of St. Index's closest friends. I got the feeling he was a very serious man, but also really kind. Oh my god. You know, like you. God damn, this game laying thick on that shit. They're like, in case you hadn't figured it out by this point. So that probably explains the... Um, resemblance. I have to say, I never would have expected to be a reference model for Saint Keyhole. <laughs> the look on Senna's face, he's like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. The curious ambulance. <laughs> what about furious violence? No, what I meant to say is that I am flattered <laughs> and a little embarrassed to be portrayed in this way. Perhaps it is because in my study of him, I feel like I've also become a friend to Saint Indec. Records show that Saint Indec and Saint Keyhole worked together to achieve great things. Mm. If possible, I would like it if the two of us could similarly combine our efforts. Oh, it's so fucking cute. What? How do we figure it out? <laughs> what? What's going on right now? <laughs> well, I'm Keyhole, don't you get it, Bernie? We each bear their respective crests, do we not? One might also say that just as I am this book's author, you are now its illustrator. So, why don't you do some more illustrations? And color them as well. We'll add them to the book. You really want me to? Uh, I don't know if I'm good enough for something like that. That's a lot of pressure! Oh my god, they're just so cute! Seth has a fuck ton of amazing supports! Actually, I've, I think he might have some of the best supports in the game. Fuck, dude! Seriously, they're all like... I don't think I've had a single dud with Zedith. They're all super enlightening. I wish I got one for Felix, too. Um, all right, let's find one with Hanuman. B rank. Oh, God, that's right. He wanted to... Good day to you, Zedith. He wanted to butter up Zedith and know why he has that freaking crest. Will he figure it out? Persistent, aren't you? If this is about my crest... No, no. I thought we might speak of something else for a change. Is that so? Indeed. I am quite fond of conversation. Even just for the sake of conversation. What are you what are you up to, Hanuman? Just listen to an old man's worries, eh? Very well. Go ahead. Perhaps it's due to my age, but I've been troubled by lower back pain lately. Right now, I'm in the process of finding a good way to treat it. Ah. Uh, if it is an ointment you're after, I think Manuela would know more than me. An excellent suggestion. Yes, I'm sure she will be able to help me with the pain itself, but... What are you trying to say? Oh, nothing. I'm only lamenting the fact that I am getting old. It is a pastime I'm not sure I enjoy. Yet I can't help but notice time hasn't taken such a toll on you. Oh, hot, wily old Hanuman. The signs of age may not write themselves plainly on my face, but I feel the strain of years as much as you. Is that right? But then, that doesn't explain your sister. Oh. Uh -huh. Your sister, Flame, was born around the time I came to the monastery from the Empire, yes? In all that time, I never knew you to pay her a visit or to write her letters. Yet somehow, the two of you seem very close, like a family who has spent years together. Could this not suggest a different interpretation? Perhaps, like you, she has... You will not pry into Flame's business. Uh-oh. If you interrogate her, no. If you even so much as inquire where she has been or what she has done, I will never forgive you. Never. Investigate me all you wish. I will even cooperate if I must. But Flame... Ooh, she's like, no, you don't you dare touch a damn hair on her flamey head. Calm down, Seteth. I have no intentions of approaching Flame. Do I have your word on that? You have my word as a scholar and as a man. I do apologize for using your sister's name in that way. Using her? What do you... Oh, that is low. You promised me just now. Investigate me <laughs> all you wish, you said. I will even cooperate, you said. Do you deny it? Gotcha, bitch! Those words were all I needed to hear. Now I have no cause to approach your sister. It seems I have no choice. 
To think I have been played the fool by a man of your age. I'll let that slight go. Now that I have your cooperation. Even with my cooperation, there is no guarantee you will reach the truth. Oh, Seteth. Searching for the truth is what I do. And I will find it. I promise you that. Then I suppose I will have to look forward to the day you prove your claims. Interesting. And that just ends there, though. But it seemed like Hamen already had a pretty, like, strong idea of what was going on here. Damn, man. This game's fucking amazing. Fuck this game. This game just doesn't deserve to be this good. I will say the good news is that all that, uh, all those auxiliary battles, uh, especially the ones that were, I think, the DLC ones, actually, end up giving me a lot of money. $40,000 plus $2,000 more. All right, guys. Let's see what crazy shit goes down in this next battle. The Great Bridge Coup. At fitting off the Empire, your forces decide it's time to advance, but first you must capture the Great Bridge of Murden, a strategic crossing point over the Aramid River, which borders the Alliance of the Empire. Oh, by the way, you guys did tell me apparently there are some green, green units in this fight that I should uh, make sure to talk to uh, with my guys. So, okay, will do. Intent on the Imperial Capital, the Kingdom Army goes around the Atma Mountains and marches through Alliance territory as they continue south. But this route takes them through the territory of House Gloucester, Imperial supporters, so they request help from Claude, the leader of House Regan. Help out no pal, Claude? Claude agrees to distract House Gloucester's soldiers, and the Kingdom Army marches onward toward the Great Bridge of Murden to cross the Aramid River, which separates the Alliance and the Empire. I'm guessing that's something that you would have handled if you were in Claude's route. Maybe. I mean, I guess it depends how much the story changes when you, depending on whether you're overseeing stuff, right? Of With one house or the other. I mean, you would think your, your impact would change the story significantly, but I don't know. Great Bridge Coup. Oh, and we are just right in it. Oh, let me out of her. Calm down, Dimitri. Calm down. Uh, let's see. What we got uh, here? Oh, we got a big beastie. Oh, it's got a weird fucking mask on. What the shit? Demonic beast. It's like the other ones, but not. It's got like a little... It's got a neat little face helmet thing. Uh, Is there a... Uh... Oh, hey, it's you again. Ladislava. Hmm, okay. Uh, any green units? Uh, oh no, Ferdinand! Oh, whoa, what the fuck, dude, Ferdinand? You're like, you're like freaking Fabio now. <laughs> Hello there. Oh my, oh my God, dude. Wow, you look really different. Grew your hair out. How oh, dare that? I mean, Ferdinand, you seem a little douchey, but I still don't want to kill you, man. Which I'm kind of afraid that might be what this is leading to. Uh, anybody else? Oh, we got a chest over here. Oh, and over here as well. It's actually a rather large area. I think he's the only one I see over here. That's that from Little Dislova. We'll say I've done a pretty good job though. Managed to uh, keeping everybody around the same level here. All right, guys. Let's fucking do it, baby. Defeat all the enemy commanders. That symbol. It's an enemy raid. Stay calm and face them head on. Send a messenger to Acheron immediately. If we're quick, we might be able to pull off a pincer attack. Pincer this bitch! Edelgard's dog, huh? All the more reason to kill her. <sighs> alright, alright, don't get so Let's antsy. Take Slava and take the bridge. Shall we begin? Uh... Rarige, where the fuck are you? <laughs> where are you talking to me from? I'm there in spirit. Maybe, the, maybe he's the green unit or something. I'll show up. Da -da -da -da. All right, you guys want to see some cool shit? Let's let's do it. Let's do the classic. All right, you all know what I'm talking about. All right, so it's gonna pump everybody up. Wasted effort. Wasted effort. Uh, then we're gonna do some of this shit. Yeah. Level up my battalion. Why not? You were ready. There's no stopping me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, do this little thing here. Just going to go ahead and send you all the way the fuck over there. <laughs> On top of this thing where you cannot move. No. 
And uh, Manuela will level up for doing that. Damn it. I'll comply. I'll comply. And uh, just gonna <laughs> just gonna stick him right here in the center of everything. This is like a good place for you, right, Dimitri? Let's deal with the enemies protecting the fortress quickly and take control of this area. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm literally on it. Enemies approaching. Get the soldiers standing by to join the fight. It's just one guy. What the fuck is he gonna do, huh? Look at him. What's he? He's a pirate. <laughs> we may need to hurry up preparations of the ballista too. Protect the fortress. He calls a fortress. It's just a hole. Just a hole in the wall. Oh wait, those. Oh, these are stairs. Apparently, I have a feeling they're gonna come flying out of there, and uh, we win the game. <laughs> We've won the game, guys. And just for funsies, I want to see this. All right, I just, I just want to see this. Let's watch what happens. I'll destroy you, <laughs> Eventually, I too. I too will fall, but it's definitely not gonna be today. It definitely is not gonna be today. Ah! All talk. All talk and no play makes Dimitri bored. Stronger, stronger, faster. faster. And I, I did I do stuff for that fight? Am I helping me? Shut up, maggot! All of you, every last one of you, come at me! Ah! I disposed of doubt. Disposed of doubt long ago. I am the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper. My strength. Ah, I got more power. Ah. Oh, wait, who's next? Who's next? <laughs> uh, what about the archers? They probably feel they're safe, right? <laughs> Yo, motherfucker, what'd you say? Bro, what the fuck did he even hit him with? Lightning. You can cast lightning now? Of course I can't. Don't struggle. I can always do this. Boom. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they're like, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> You think we'll let you take this bridge from us? This is no good. Reinforcements keep coming. So what? To let them you. come. <laughs> oh my god. It's so insane. I love it. All right. We're not going to let Dimitri have all the fun. <gasps> Your Highness, apologies for the late arrival. What the fuck to do? Where did you come from? To do? You're alive. How? What the dicks? It's just good. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, we're not dead. I knew this asshole wasn't alive, but honestly, I sort of was like, starting to doubt it after a while, because it's been a while. Dude, what the shit, man? I've been waiting for you to show up again, and I was like, I haven't finished your damn support. We can discuss it later. <gasps> oh. Now, allow me to join your forces. Holy shit, dude, you are scarred to fucking hell and back. What happened to you, dude? I like your haircut. Uh, oh, can I talk to you? I can't talk to you? Well, I can control you now. Oh, you're only level 27? Oh, bitch. I was afraid of that. I was like, if the dude shows up again, what if he's going to be like the same level he was before? I mean, I think he's probably like, just like we were like a few levels higher, but they didn't really keep up with it, though, did they? Well, uh, we're going to get you caught back up again real fast here. Guess we'll do the Brave Axe. Do we have that? Ugh. Still my take. More proof of my loyalty. More proof of my loyalty. Can I see your... Oh, wait. Can I actually see your bio? And, no, I can't. <laughs> what have you been up to this whole time? Damn, it is kind of a bummer. I really wish they had skilled him more with us, you know? Like, leveled him up some more. Come on, man. This game really expects me still not to be level 30 by now. Let's clean up, boy. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? Going for the kill. Going for the kill. Oh. Ah! Uh, wasn't enough to kill. That's all right. To do. Oh, dude, I am so glad to have you back, though. God damn. It's been fucking forever. It's been so damn long. By the way, everyone, I'm still over here. Demetrius, just run in there. And just stand there. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. I know I'll be fine. I look like some fucking pussy to you. Oh, that's cool. You can see my shield on my arm there, the, the shield of Saros. Neat. It's a little bit smaller than, like, what Felix was. Oh, damn, there's a fucking archer on the ballista over there. Seth, so go after that motherfucker. And kill Ferdinand while you're at it. I changed my mind. He's gonna die. Oh, hi. Okay. Hello. Wow. What? Hi. Who the fuck is that? Now's the time to show your loyalty to the Empire. Attack the enemy from behind. A Acheron. Behind. Dude, he's literally right in front of us. He, he didn't teleport behind us. He teleported into us. I've got to make my name known to Her Majesty through distinguished service. <laughs> what the fuck is this little D-bag? Acheron, a minor lord of the Alliance territory. 
If he's fighting for the Empire, we've no choice but to attack him. Look at him in his little douche stash. Huh? I'll destroy you! Where's this, where this lightning coming from? I disposed of doubt long ago. We're gonna need more people, I think. Don't struggle! Too weak for this world. <laughs> Good God, Dimitri. <laughs> Calm down, you absolute mad lad. Ow. Dimitri's gonna go over there and one shot all the fucking monsters, too. Okay, seriously, you guys are a little close. A little bit close. Make some good to do. I'll cut a path for his highness. Yes. Please get a good level up. Thank you. The better to serve his highness. Better to serve. Oh my god, to do, man. You got scarred up good. What happened to you? Damn. I feel bad. Oh, but dude, we gotta get you caught up. Dead, dead, and dead? You were unprepared. You were unprepared for my awesomeness. Kill him, Casper. Oh, I love he does it from down below. The swing. Damn nice Casper. Oh yeah. Reassuring. Reassuring. This guy's like, oh shit, that was a, this is a mistake, I think. You know what? Everyone wants to come and attack me. Good. I'll wait right here for you. And dead. Ah, damn it. Damn it, Ash. I make you a bow knight, man. And Shamir? Going for the kill! Going for the kill! Booyah, bitch! That was amazing. You're some kind of god. Can you do it again? Please? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, guys, check this shit out. Trick shot! As they... Ah, oh, fuck, I skipped over it. Oh, well. Who cares? He's a wannabe bitch anyway. Going for the kill. Going for the kill! Nobody gives a fuck who you are! I never should have aligned with the Empire. Oh, I've only got two lives in this whole game. Sweet. I'm gonna level up off of your death. Oh, yeah. I'll grow as strong as I can. That's right, I'm making up for that fucking piss-ass level I had last time. I can always depend on you. I can always depend on you for murder. I don't know what he said before, but it's all right. Doesn't matter. That guy's dead now. Zedith, kill this asshole. Lament your, weakness. Lament your weakness, foolish mortal. And go over here and kill freaking Ferdinand. I'll destroy you, boy. All talk and no action. All talk. Everybody. All of you come at me. I'm not done killing. Too weak. Too weak. Dude, I, Felix and Felix and them are be bonding to hell and back. Uh oh, what what just happened? I'll destroy you. I disposed of doubt long ago. Something just flashed across the screen. Was this? De shouldn't be his battalion. I didn't see because I was going through so fast. Also, this monster didn't attack me. I thought he was going to. He's fa he's afraid of me as he should be. Ah! Literally everybody. I don't want to kill this commander lady so fast though. She comes after me too. Damn, she can go far away, can't she? Jeez, what is her movement? Eight movement. Good lord. Oh no! Ferdinand's got a spear's gonna throw at him. Alright, can't I let Dimitri have all the fun? I just gotta put him right here and have him fight this guy instead. Yeah, come on, you dummy. See what happened. Backflip. This could turn the tides. After this battle, uh -oh. I will be known far and wide as the legendary Ferdinand of Adresti. Oh, God, Ferdinand, get out of here, man. <laughs> Too complete this game. Yeah. Ah, Ferdinand, stop it. Oh, no. Oh, God. I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, have arrived to join the battle in my father's stead. Oh, God, other douchey character. Ah. Thanks for making your way here. Annihilate the enemy with the rest of them. Ah, oh, no, stop it! Is that the professor? Why would someone like that join such a senseless fight? Oh, my God. Yeah, everyone's growing their hair out. Lawrence, here you are. I'm heading south, so I will leave this area to you. What? Oh. Are you, are you leaving already? You just got here. Fuck your shit. Oh, that didn't work on you. Okay. 
Oh, what? He didn't... Oh, oh okay, we're attacking again. He didn't crit the, the monster. Can, can he not crit them? Is that like... Is that a thing? Uh, oh, no, Ferdinand, you're still here, you silly goober. Uh, Lorenz, what are you? Uh, a paladin, okay. You got a master seal as well. So do you. Oh, the fucking Alliance soldiers are showing up after all. Okay, so we still have guys. I mean, there are some people, part of the Alliance, that are helping. Metal guard. We got the chest. Ooh, a critical ring. I'll take that. Probably best to retreat for now. Let's surprise them. Whoosh. Ain't this no ticket. No escape. Oh, it might be that I can't critical them when they have shields up. That might be what it is. Emerald steel. Mine, mine, mine. They cometh. Oh, God. Huh? Stop healing the monster, dumbasses. Now's our chance. Oh, dear. Okay, 20% chance. Come on. <laughs> I just fizzled out. I love that. Ah, macho motherfuckers. Get what to do, go in there and lay waste. Brave X. A threat eliminated. Get out of here, dumb mage. That's from Casper. Attack at your own risk. Boom! Boom! Alright, that's one bar of health. Yeah, now he gets a shit ton of crit on this guy. As does Shamir. Go for the kill! You look like a little bluey ball in your face! Ooh, yes! Of course. Bow prowess! That's what I'm talking about. You missed! Out of my way! Out of my way. Uh. As I expected. God, they just keep coming! To a <gasps> Shit! Sorry, I didn't I skip it. Can you say it again, please? Unfortunately, there's no way to see the log unless somebody talks again. Back to the fray. I'm all right. Cause I don't think I can access the log anywhere here. I saw Lewins, but you gotta die. Ah! Lay me to rest in a manner that is befitting of the nobility. Oh fuck! I actually killed him. That sucks. <laughs> I leveled up at least. Ah oh, fuck! I feel real bad now. Even if it was Lorenz. No cool battles. Battle line for me. What if I have to kill Ferdinand? This seems like he's getting out of there. I'm trying to get out of there. Get him, Seneth. Boom. For the Alliance. Just die already. Just die already. I'm not, going down. not going down. Boom. Your turn, Ash. Boom. Ah. Child's play. Destroy him! See you in the eternal flames. Going for the kill. Going for the kill. Stay down. You did well. I am gonna compliment from Dimitri. That is a serious rarity. Going for the kill. Boom! Feels good to fight for a Feels cause. good to slay everybody! Get him, Gilbert. The time is now. The time has come and so have I. Bitch, you can do a lot of damage. Holy fuck, you can do a shit ton of damage to me too. Eat my thunder, lady. Okay, now I can go back and read this. Uh, to oppose the empire to sound like this would be entirely too reckless. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Oh, here we go. With this fortress taken, enemy reinforcements have been halted. That's what it said when I destroyed the enemies there. Okay. Oh, okay. As they say, if you can't beat them, join them. I'm, I'm not in for beating. Am I? Huh? And then he dies immediately afterwards. Ah, right, cool. Eat this, stupid. Ugh. I can't retreat. Even if it costs me my life, I've got to protect the Great Bridge. <laughs> Boom, dead. The roar of battle. That's what Man Manuela. Oh Lord, watch out, Gilbert. Please don't die. Uh, this might not be good. 
Oh fuck, he's fucked. Oh, I'm dead. It seems like it seems like he he doesn't actually die though. He says I just gotta retreat. Crocus, we need it for main story shit. Oh boy. Yeah. Fuck, Manuela. Yeah. Fucking god damn it! Piece of shit! Eat my ass! Watch it, Casper. Fernand's a motherfucker. Oh god. That's a big ah, I don't heal. You want, you want a piece of this? You want a piece of the beast? Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, this bitch. Look at her. Going outside of the... Just camping outside. Can't do I shit. Do well. Oh wait, wait, wait. Alright, yeah, I can. Never mind. Sort of. Except I can't kill her. Eat this, Ferdinand. Ah. Uh. Uh. Die, Ferdinand. Level the fuck up. You're not gonna say anything, Ferdinand. You're dead. Retreat, Ladislava. Tell her majesty about this. We've already sent a messenger. I can't let you die while I flee. In that case, please, even if I die, you must protect this area. I think Casper's curb stops him and shut up, Megan. Oh. <laughs> Level up for Mercedes. God, that fortify move is fucking useful as hell. God damn it. Hunt them like beasts. Hunt them like beasts. Boom. Level up. Boom. Break that shield. Ah. Give me Umber Steel. Die, demon! Boom! Ah. All right, one more bar. God, they just keep coming. Here's the plan. Oh dear. Watch out to do. No, oh, dicks. Owie, owie, oxen free. Boom. Boom. Nice. Ah, oh, Shashamir. Feels good to fight for a Feels good. More. More power. All right. Ah. Eventually, I too Two will fall. I'm not going down. Not going down. Might makes right. Ah, oh, perfection. I will end this now. Boom. Plan is ready. Yes. Actually hit her with it. Unbelievable. That's your best. <laughs> is that all you've got? They just keep coming out of the damn gate over there. Shield shattered. Get out of here, bitch! Boom! Don't struggle, die, monster! I'll never be sad. I'll never be sad. Level five, alright. Really tough. What? Okay. Kill all the enemies. There might still be news. They'll just keep coming out of there. It seems like they just endlessly do that. But I think it's finally time to put an end to this bitch over here. Nadu, can you do the honors possibly? Or will that kill you? you can buff them up. Would that help? Maybe. No. Damn it. And then I died. I know. Taste the power of baloney. Boom. I want to do to be the one to do it. Get that experience. Uh oh god. Oh god, it's so little so little chance of actually hitting her. 45%. Come on. Fuck. And I died. That was smash. Yeah, you regret this. There we go. Lady Edelgard. I'm sorry. You failed me! Give me that level up. Now I'm level 30 and ready to master some shit. Thank damn it! No time to stand ah. I should follow your lead. Damn right. It's a farce. All of it. This is a farce. We killed everybody here. Literally everybody. I wonder who possibly could be the MVP. <laughs> well, seeing as I killed like two thirds of the entire army, you know. <laughs> Goddamn Dimitri. Ah, oh, Dadu, I'm glad you're back. You are a few levels behind everybody. That's right, this was auxiliary battles are for, right? Gotta get you caught up. Dadu, why, how are you here? You died 
Five years ago. I was saved by my brothers, men of Dusker. Damn. Dude, your armor looks cool, man. Those people you were with, they were of Dusker? And they saved you? Your Highness, I ask that you fulfill your long-held desire, did I not? Allow me to once again act as your sword and shield. Please, let me witness your triumph. I want to behold the moment your wish is finally granted. To do? Of course. And in exchange, I ask that you swear something to me here and now. Do not ever throw your life away again. Understood? Your Highness. Aww. Understood. Embracing death for the sake of that woman. Truly foolish. Aren't you happy we won? I... I don't know. Do you regret killing them? They were just beasts with human faces. Who is the... Is the real Dimitri popping back out again? Dimitri from all those years ago. The good Dimitri is, is the douche showing up, starting to maybe change Dimitri back. I had no choice but to kill them, and so I did. That... That is all there is to it. It's about time you two returned. We must discuss our next course of action. Please, I need to join you no matter the cost. Oh, Lord. No! Now the sister of the guy we killed! I'm sorry, but my hands are tied. By the goddess, what's with all the commotion? <gasps> what is this girl doing here? This is an army, not an orphanage. I believe she's from a nearby village. She keeps insisting that she needs to join our ranks. What, our ranks? No! She's gonna try to kill us! And you thought we could use a child on the front lines? Hurry up and take her back to her parents. My family is gone. I don't have anywhere else to go. Please. I can use magic and I can fight. I can cook, do laundry, anything. I'm sure there are plenty of more suitable places to find work. Why are you so fixated on this army, young lady? I need to get revenge. I must strike down the one who murdered my big brother. Your Highness, what should we do? Let her do as she pleases. Thank you. Very much. No, oh, fuck. No, we're stupid. This is that crazy redhead bitch all over again? Monica. Ah, what well, for the ones that did it? Well, why didn't we bother asking that? Oh, son of a bitch. Why are we all so fucking stupid? All well, the bright side to do is alive. Hopefully he doesn't die again. Part two, Azure Moon, Great Tree Moon. Blood of the eagle and lion. Eagle and lion. Yeah, fuck the deer. The deer's not part of the story at all. <laughs> Claw's just over there smoking weed. Now in control of the great bridge of Murden. Murden? The kingdom army begins to invade Imperial territory. In response, the Imperial army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. So yeah, I think it's clear. I mean, just how I'm, I'm literally... I just killed... Ferdinand and Lorenz, all right? So clearly, the, the story is just different, if, depending on which side you're on. Whoever you decide to pick to be your team uh, for this playthrough. Because, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure Ferdinand and Lorenz would not have died if I had picked them to help the Empire. I mean, that would have been up to me, right? Oh, here we go. Your curse how to do is doing. Yes. What have you been doing this whole time to do? Here for the flowers again? That's right. Not particularly. You might as well have a look while you are here. I have two things to say. First, I thank you for supporting His Highness in my absence. But I must also admonish you for taking your own well-being too lightly. On several occasions, I have seen you protect others by putting yourself in harm's way. I am grateful for your efforts, but I feel you should place a higher value on your own life. His Highness relies on you, as do I. You need not worry. I understand. 
then show that with your actions. We cannot afford to lose an invaluable asset like you. Damn, I wonder if he'll explain how he got those scars, though. Like, Jesus. And those nasty scars. And? This greenhouse would be a more lonely place without you in it. Aww. It would not be fair to the flowers to leave me their only caretaker. Hmm. Someday, I hope to show you a whole landscape of these flowers in full bloom. You mean Deska? Yes. Once this conflict is over and His Highness ascends the throne, I believe it can be done. You must live at least until then. Understood? Understood. Same to you! That's true enough. I had not thought much of my own life until now. Except that I would gladly cast it aside for His Highness. That is still true. But now I desire to see the end of this war. Until I can show you the fields of Dusker and Bloom, I will go on living. Oh, that was sweet. Yay, all right. Hey, Rank. We have received a report from our spy. Oh, Lord. It would seem the Empire is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. This is undoubtedly in response to us taking the Great Bridge of Murden. Their numbers are more than double ours. We believe that the Emperor herself may be leading them. <gasps> if House Regan can reconcile with House Gloucester sooner than later, then Claude can proceed with his plan to rally the Alliance Lords, gather troops, and invade Empire territory. At this rate, three military forces will be clashing at Grander Field. Just like five years ago. Just like the Battle of Eagle and Lion. If you wish to indulge in nostalgia, do it elsewhere. I'm afraid the difference in military strength is far from negligible. While we are elite soldiers, I am still uneasy about this. If possible, I'd like to request reinforcements right away. If we can rely on any of the major kingdom houses for military support, it would be House Karen, I'd wager. Oh, isn't that? That's uh, Catherine's thing, isn't it? Why them? House Karen has yet to declare fealty to the Empire. I, I think. It is also my home. Yes, all right. I will make the request to my father. If things as they are, I don't think he can refuse. The church has long protected me. I am certain that any request from the church will be answered to the utmost of their ability. Very well. We're counting on you, Catherine. I suppose that is all we can do for now. So it would seem. Though if there are any other avenues worth exploring, I would suggest... Align with the Alliance! Ah, good point. We have no reason to engage the Alliance directly. If we did just kill fucking Lorenz, but who gives a shit? It was just fucking Lorenz! Even if we do receive Count Karen's aid, we still won't have the troops we need to face the Empire. But if we join forces with the Alliance, then our numbers will rival the Empire's. Ah. Uh, destroy forces. Agreed. It's about the only thing we can do. For now, let's send a messenger and try to figure out what the Alliance hopes to achieve. It's hard to believe this decisive battle will take place at Grander Field. I imagine that place is full of memories for all of you. It all comes back to Grounder Field. We won the Battle of the Eagle and Lion back in the day. It seems like a lifetime ago. I can't help but remember, even though I wish I didn't. Our feast after the battle. I remember it well. We all had so much fun together. No! Please stop it. I had finally put all of that out of my mind. This isn't right. They're our friends. We used to study together. We shouldn't be fighting them. Yeah, how dare we kill the purple-haired one? Whatever his name was! Why not march up to Her Majesty and remind her of that? Oh, that's right. Because you want to live to see tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god, so I... No matter who the enemy is, I will fight for His Highness. Tell me, Boar Prince. Do we stand a chance? Who knows? If we lose, we'll have died for you. I hope you know that. <laughs> cool, I like that. That's enough, Felix. We must focus on the battle ahead. Make your peace before we depart. It's kill or be killed out there. We will cross blades with the Empire, 
but it's possible we will also have to strike down the alliance. I wonder what it was specifically about this instance that shook Dimitri, right? Was it just like the dude showing up and the softening him a bit? Or was there something about Ladislava and I guess maybe the other, maybe the also the other class putting them down, I guess maybe started to shake Dimitri. Maybe because they, because he went to school with them. That was a bit of a difference. I don't know. Highness, do you feel no hesitation about killing your former friends? Oh, that is it. I'm used to killing familiar faces by now. I'll kill him like I, just like I killed Lorenz and Ferdinand. Those two sucked anyway. They were the douchey ones. We all know it. Woohoo! All right, uh, Dudu, can I get you, uh, no. Damn it, Dudu, you missed so many fucking weeks of training and learning and shit. Ah. Uh. God damn it. Well, I can make you, I'll be able to make you a war master eventually. Hey, you still got all the weapons I gave you. <laughs> I left them with you. You actually took them with you. I didn't even realize. All right, let's read his bio here. Uh, 1181, wounded while rescuing Dimitri during the coup of Ferdiad. Takes refuge in the Dusker Residential District. 1185, repairs to the Great Bridge of Murden after reuniting with his liege. Cool. Okay, so I guess that's what the scars came from was that he was wounded during that battle. Ow. Ow. Uh, how are we doing supports here to do? Got one with Felix. Uh, you, oh, that's right. You guys have been sitting on this one for a while. Uh, Dimitri's still not ready to do shit with anybody. But, uh, oh, God, he, really? You fought, like, you killed, like, 30 dudes with Felix as your backup guy, and that still wasn't enough to freaking get you to that point? Ah. All right, Dudu, he still needs to... Now, now he gives him another person he needs to bomb with. Uh. Oh, Lord. Dudu, man. I gotta get... I'm gonna have to grind rouse with you as well. Oh, he still can't do the one with uh, Shamir yet. Weirdly enough. Huh. Well, let's go sit. Go ahead and see the one he, with Felix. This will be interesting, right? Because him and Felix have had a serious difference of uh, of opinion for blind loyalty, right? It's a B rank. Hey, wait. What is it? You defended me in battle. Why? His Highness does not wish for our military strength to be depleted. The loss of your strength would be significant. You are a colossal idiot. One slip up and you would have died. You think you would have been happy about that? No, I do not. Then why protect me? I thought you were his mindless weapon, his sword and shield. I heard about your brother. He was a Dusker. He died to protect his highness. Mm. He did, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Are you repaying some kind of debt? I hope you're not going to praise his death. I hear enough of that from my old man. I will not praise it then. Instead, I will say I would have done the same in his position. Is it really so unnatural to put one's life on the line to protect a brother in arms? To hear a rabid dog call me a brother in arms. Your insults are merely an attempt to avoid addressing me as what I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're just soon there, right? I am a man of Dusker, yet you were concerned for my life. Concerned is a strong word. Your death would have been unpleasant, that's all. Coming from you, that is enough. What's that supposed to mean? I just meant... <sighs> never mind. Okay, go ahead, protect me. But if you act like a fool and get yourself killed, I'll kill you. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, Felix is the most Sundari character in this game. It's so hilarious. It's so adorable. How can you kill me if I am already dead? If I'm already dead. I you you know what I meant. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, they actually sort of managed to pass things up. Yay! Alright. That's good. I like that. All right, Seneth and Ingrid. And you guys told me apparently, so this is, I guess this is what it normally would be the end between them because in other routes, but only in the Blue Lions route, apparently just have a part two to it for whatever reason. So, all right, let's have a look at this. Still contemplating, I see. Without so much as a word, you've read me through and through. Since last we spoke, I've been thinking a lot about my future, how I want to spend my life. It's a lot to think about, and I haven't entirely sorted out where I'm going. I think I need more time to grow. On the contrary, you have given this honest and sincere thought. I am quite impressed, actually. You're impressed with me? Worry about the future is not unique to youth. It is human nature. At the risk of being overbearing, 
Might I offer you one more piece of advice? Of course. Have you considered what your life would be like had you not been born with a crest? Hmm. Do you suppose that you would have been ordinary? Insignificant? I do not think so. Even without a crest, such a promising young lady as yourself would have a bright future ahead of her. Again, instead of trying to turn people away from the importance of these stupid crests, right? Like, yeah, because he's just, he's been around long enough to see what fucking, what a clusterfuck they've made the world, right? Seth, I... Aw. I am not typically inclined to flattery, so I hope you will take my words to heart. Have faith in yourself. If you trade that faith for a misplaced pride in your crest, I will have to reassess your character. I've no intention of doing such a thing. It will take me time and experience, but I will find my path and walk it proudly. I am glad to hear it, Ingrid. Oh, that was nice. Wow, and there's a part two to it, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Intriguing, I dare say. Damn it, I make sure you hurry up and bow, people. You know, wait, say this shit the last minute and make it even harder for me to get you ready. All right. Dark Knight. Come on, Sylvain. Coin toss. Yeah, boy! Gotcha! Give me that freaking stat boost. One to magic, really. Okay. No big deal, really. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty easy, you know? I mean, I feel it twice now, but whatever. Oh, wow. Big, big boost resistance. That's what I'm talking about, son. All right, set a thing to do 40, 47%. Uh, yeah, boy, also! Stat bonus. Just I one. Guessed, as expected. Yes, as expected. Um. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and switch over. The thing I got from, I imagine whatever it is, is the one that Cyril got. It was all right. I don't know. If, I don't know if it was worth uh trying to master it though. Oh my god, it is literally one away though. <laughs> it's one point away, motherfucker. If I got one more turn with him, this sealed defense. If unit damages foe during combat. They suffer mi minus six defense for one turn. It's still not bad, though. Yeah, all right, fine. Fine, said it. Fine, twist my leg. Or my arm. One of those. All right, guys. I think this seems like a good place to end things here for now. Yay, we got to do back. Woohoo! If he is a lower level than everybody, but it's all right. We're going to get him back. Caught up. Make him to the guy he was always meant to be, and also get him to bond with everybody, as well as Dimitri. It's interesting. It looks like, so we're getting a lot of, like, there's nothing going on today. But then we have the food festival the next week. And then the fish thing, and then another food one. Um, but that's also when the the red rare monster sightings are. Although I guess by this point that doesn't matter as much now that I've gotten all the I think the name weapons from them. Um, which makes it kind of makes me think maybe I should battle today and then save like looking around for next time. I I don't know if everyone's motivation is down to shit, so they won't be able to teach too many. But uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a ferret and subscribe if you're already become Piggy Penguin. For the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!